Hello and welcome. Today is Sunday, the 15th day of January 2017, and welcome to the Silver Charts channel. But this video will be that on Bitcoin, with the daily and weekly chart being uh, shown Sunday morning. All right, so without further ado, let's get started. Within this bull market, which uh, had this rising 18 average, it was basically running a marathon, you could state, just going slowly and surely. Yeah, it had some, for its time, larger volatile days, but they would correct and the market would remain bullish. And preceding the big breakout was a couple of weeks where it got back all of its gain that it had from before. So back in this period here, it had its gain, and then you have these three or so periods with a red candle, green candle, red candle, and then it got back everything that it lost there in seven, eight times the time that it took to lose it, or very slowly. But it all changed within this green candle. Since that point, all low volatility days like Days like in here, this day, yesterday, what's working so far today is just low volatility within the big moves of the current time frame. So you have this big red move, goes back up, it does nothing, big move, big move, not doing much now. If uh, That's pretty much the tr uh, trend within it. But since this leg higher or the breakout, it's given back everything. It broke out at around 800, got up to 1100 came back down to about that point and that's where it stands right now as we start the early part of the 15th day of January and when you have this bounce to this point in here you'd be just guessing okay around 800 it's probably going to bounce if I'm wrong then watch for this area to be resistance or a fast move to the next key level but usually you're going to get a bounce it did. So the bounce comes from 800 to about 900. A little under 8 to a little under 9. It's about 11, 12% maximum gain. Now where you sell, you buy somewhere on the way down because, well, it's a key Fibonacci number. It hit, obviously, but sell here, 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 wherever. Now maybe you sold on these two days, maybe on the way down. But you're just looking for ways to find edges, to say the least. The second turn down, not doing as well. It pierced below this point, so didn't find that great of support. Now, I don't know if it's going to be resisting this area or if it's supporting this area. It's really tough to tell as it stands now. But what I can tell is that the 18 average is declining, so the sentiments should remain bearish. This doesn't look good on any type of midterm analysis as there is a lot of toppy patterns within this. It needs to get into this 18 average band to attempt neutrality. It needs to get above the 18 average of highs to attempt regaining the bullishness mode. And on a situation of the break of support, I'm going to be looking for a move to the next level to be the key uh, support point. It's still a decent away from this... Uh, a very thick 18 average band because again volatility has started to reign supreme within this market is this a start of a big uh, bear market that's going to last a while it looks like it possibly could be that way but either way if it's not and you start to see action higher into the nines over a thousand again well this is going to look like that failed breakdown that uh, can occur and if this thing manages to get back over a thousand fast, and this is one heck of a retracement, I'm, I'd be expecting moves to go to uh, two, three thousand relatively quick, which is why you'd stay. Some would stay. Okay, I want to wait for it to either a break well above this point, or b if this is going to get bear marketish, I want to wait for this to go much, much lower before looking to buy because in order to go to 3,000 it's got to go to about 1100 and change first but in order to get to the low numbers you might be thinking of maybe 500 400 300 it's uh, 
Well, it's, it's obviously much uh, higher than that now, and there's a cheaper price that you'd be looking to get towards. And your real risk is about 300 to get whatever lower, if, of course, you're looking to buy cheap. I generally would think that uh, you have a situation of down to here, up to here. It's looking as if this thing is probably going to start rolling over. Maybe not now. Maybe it's going to come into the band or start to roll over even around 850 and then play out to test here. But if it doesn't do that and it plays in within this 18 average band, okay, things are neutral. And uh, then you can start to look for bullish patterns as it's back over 900. That's what I would be thinking because... I like the odds right now that uh, you're going to get a, a leather leg lower than you will have an attempt to break the 18 average of highs. Thank you for tuning in and have yourself a great day. Bye-bye.